here is the guideline to answer the question in your tutorial, the face-to-face -face question with two third hour. Okay, so we have the rate constant for the decomposition of hydrogen iodide at different temperatures. So we have a data here and then the question asks you to determine the activation energy for the decomposition graphically. So you need to plot a graph. Okay, so now if you look at the data here, so we have a rate constant, the K value and also the temperature. Only one equation that relates the rate constant with the temperature which is an Arrhenius equation. So the Arrhenius equation is K is equals to A exponent negative EA over RT. Okay, if you put ln in this equation, you will get ln K is equals to ln A minus EA over R times 1 over T. So we need ln K and also the temperature here so we have uh, because we only have these two data so rearrange it a little bit okay we have ln k is equals to negative ea over r times 1 over t plus ln a so now here we have ln k okay ln k will become our y axis okay and then we have 1 over temperature so the temperature here will become our x axis the ln a here is our Y intercept, so the gradient is equals to negative EA over R. Okay, so we will get a linear graph, okay, a straight line graph with a negative slope because we have negative here. All right, so uh, when you plot the graph, you need the ln K and also 1 over temperature, where our temperature here is the unit is per Kelvin. Okay, so here we only have a rate constant so you need to convert you need to make a new table and convert the rate constant here into ln k and also our temperature here you need to convert it into 1 over t okay so that we have the units per kelvin here all right and bear in mind okay our gas constant is joule per kelvin per mole so the temperature here always will become in kelvin Okay, and then since the gradient is equals to negative EA over R, okay, so grade, uh, EA, activation energy, is equals to negative gradient, gradient times with R. So the units for EA that you should obtain from this graph is joule per mole. If you want to convert it into kilojoule per mole, just divide it by 1000, all right? Let's say when you plot the graph, your graph looks like this. It's a steep gradient, okay? Just like this small graph, okay? Actually, when this happens, you can cut your graph like this, okay? Just cut the axis, okay? And then you should get, uh, and then plot it again with a bigger scale. You should get a bigger graph, okay? But when you cut your graph, you won't get the ln A, okay, because you already cut the graph. So the the value for the ln A, the y-intercept here is not, uh, it's not there, okay, because you already cut it, all right. So, and then uh, if you want to take the gradient, you cannot take the gradient on the, uh, on the value that you cut it out here, okay, you should, take your gradient after you cut the graph okay like this okay so the gradient should be the point of your gradient should be after the point that you cut your graph all right for example uh, the value of 1 over temperature here is 2.0 times 10 to the power of minus 3 for the 500 kelvin and for the 600 kelvin is 1.67 times the power of minus 3 and for 700 kelvin is 1.43 times 10 to the power of minus 3 for the 800 kelvin is 1.25 times 10 to the power of minus 3 so if you look at this value the range is uh, from 1.25 
to 2 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay, so it means that you don't need to start your uh, plotting for the x axis here from 0 and then 1.0 and then 2.0. Okay, if you do it like that, your graph will become so small. Okay, what you can do here is you can start from here, maybe around 1.25 times the power of minus 3. And then you can have it, you can have 1.30 and then 1.35 and until you get 2.0 times the power of times 10 to the power of minus 3. So your graph will become bigger. Alright, so that's it.